Coming up on Mountain News this morning, lawmakers are eyeing the Seek formula and why it might need some changes. And officials also want to see insurance provide more cost for certain parts of speech therapy for children. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfi. The time is 6.30 on Wednesday, March 6th. Now let's check in with meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast this morning. Good morning, Olivia. It's a wet start to the day for all of us. Temperature-wise, 54 outside our door here in Hazard. And the weather headlines reflect the fact that we're in the unsettled weather now. And we get a dry day tomorrow, but still little if any sunshine as the unsettled theme continues into the weekend. Temperature wise, we're all in the 50s right now, except for wise checking in at 48 and the pinpoint Doppler radar showing some of us have seen a little bit of the rain lighting up. We pick up the intensity though as you make your way toward Whitley County, toward Wayne County, and also as you make your way toward uh, Lexington and Harrodsburg across central Kentucky. There is more regarding the intensity or at least the aerial coverage rather of the rainfall Tennessee back into Alabama and Georgia, which means that we are going to continue to see our rainfall persists this morning. So mid 50s over the next couple of hours. And again, you're going to need the wipers as we hit from the morning into the afternoon, even though the shower, the rain that is eases up is showers mid to late afternoon. More about your first alert seven day forecast that's coming up in just a few moments. Olivia. Tim, thank you. A Wayne County High School student is facing charges after sheriff's deputies say he sold a THC vape pen at school. The student who purchased the vape was taken to the hospital after passing out in a school hallway. 18 year old Alexander Devalos was arrested and on felony and misdemeanor charges last week. Dr. Angela Houchin is a pediatrician with UK Healthcare. She says the effects of vaping marijuana are much stronger than smoking it. The marijuana that is used in vapes specifically is 60 to 80 percent concentrate compared to what they used to call a joint, which would just be 20 percent THC. Dr. Houchin says if you are worried your child may be under the influence of marijuana, some signs to watch out for are bloodshot eyes along with anxiety. Roughly 30 years ago, the Kentucky Supreme Court ruled that the Commonwealth was failing its duty to adequately fund public education. It deemed the gap in funding between poor and rich districts unconstitutional. This led to the legislature passing the Kentucky Education Reform Act of 1990, which raised taxes. And as I'm about to explain, it also created the Support Education Excellence in Kentucky formula, also known as SEEK. In Kentucky, we have to use SEEK uh, to distribute the money. Uh, a lot of people think SEEK is a funding mechanism, but it's actually a distribution method that keeps funding equal. It has been more than 30 years since the Support Education Excellence in Kentucky, or SEEK formula, was created. And Representative Timmy Truitt says it is sparking a lot of conversation during the 2024 legislative session regarding teacher raises. What we've noticed is over time with population population shifts and, and people leaving, especially Eastern Kentucky, uh, what's happening is our rural counties sometimes are, are, are losers in the SEEK formula funding. Meaning the formula must be analyzed because Truett says teacher raises require more than a percentage increase or that statewide pay gap will continue to rise. The SEEK formula has to be looked at. We have to look at that and decide how can we distribute this money fairly to where every district is getting their fair share to where every district can give raises that they need to give. And some districts, you know, have the money to do those raises and other districts do not. True, it says the House Education Committee has passed the creation of a work group to make changes to the formula. I still look forward to this, this, this working group. I think it'll be uh, good for education, 
And, and if it can last another 30 years, if we tweak it next year and come up with a new formula and it lasts another 30 years, I think that's a, I think that's a success. Uh, but right now we've got to fix some of our problems. However, the work group approval still needs to make it through the House and Senate. And according to the Kentucky Association of School Administrators, teachers' salaries average 25% less than other college ed educated professionals. And in 2022, the average starting teacher salary was a little more than $38,000. A former UK basketball player is voicing his support for a cause that hits close to home for him. Michael Kidd Gilchrist spoke in front of Senate members in Frankfurt, showing his support for a bill that would help kids who struggle with stuttering. Senate Bill 111 would help children who stutter get insurance coverage to get help with fixing the issue. Kid Gilchrist says he has issues with stuttering and it means a lot to him to be able to advocate for others who struggle in the same way. Like I've been through it, man. I've been through it. I've been, I've been hurt. Um, I've been sad about stuttering at times and stuff like that. The bill passed through the Banking and Insurance Committee yesterday in a unanimous vote. It now heads to the full Senate floor. And a bill is now headed to the House that deals with school safety. Yesterday afternoon, the Senate passed Senate Bill 2. It would allow schools to use veterans, retired troopers, and retired federal agents to patrol schools as guardians. And I want to reiterate, in no way is the Guardian replacing the important role that our school resource officers are doing for our school systems. The Guardian does not have a resting authority. They are simply a stopgap measure to help a school district that right now may not be able to provide an SRO, and this would not begin until the 2025-2026 school year. The bill now heads to the House for a vote. A bill that would require cursive writing proficiency to be taught in elementary schools has passed in the Kentucky Senate. Senate Bill 167 would put the requirement in place starting in fall 2025. The bill passed by a vote of 37 to 0. It now heads to the House for further consideration. The president of Big Sandy Community and Technical College is stepping down. We received a statement from Dr. Scott Rule about his decision saying, quote, BSCTC is vital for education and job opportunities in our rural area. Despite my short tenure, the community embraced me warmly and I've built strong bonds here. I trust KCTCS President Ryan Quarles and the leadership of our college to ensure the continued and future success of the college for generations to come. Rule was selected as the new president last August and had only served since January. Yesterday morning, marchers gathered to reenact Dr. Martin Luther King's Freedom March on Frankfurt. On this day in 1964, Dr. King, baseball pioneer Jackie Robinson, and 10,000 people filled Frankfurt streets. The leaders met with then-Governor Ned Breathitt to discuss the need for a state civil rights law. Governor Andy Bashir marched on the front line. Organizers say this shows people why they marched in the past and the need to march now. It's just to bring the community together as one person, one people, one voice is what we're trying to do today. Is this really truly an in, uh, enactment or is this a continuation of that march because we're still fighting for the same things that Martin Luther King and Jackie Robinson were fighting for then? The march started outside of the Capitol City Museum and ended on the steps of the state capitol. This weekend, we are springing forward and losing an hour as we are leaving standard time. However, a current bill that's been filed in the House means this could be the last time ever that Kentuckians observe daylight saving time. The Uniform Time Act allows states to opt out of daylight saving time, staying on standard time year round. And this year, a Kentucky state representative thinks it might be time to stop springing forward and falling back. Kentucky needs to stand up and say, look, we don't want the nation dictating what our time gets to be. We want to do it ourselves. So what my bill would do is it would keep us under standard time. And just when you spring forward, we, we wouldn't set our clocks. 
This is not the first time Kentucky has attempted legislation regarding time changes. Three pieces of legislation regarding changes to DST failed. And last year, a measure to make DST year round versus standard time also failed. And a good Wednesday too. A quick weather update showing temperatures on the mild side, but it's damp with the rainfall. 50s for a lot of us minus wise checking in over at UVA at 48. The pinpoint Doppler radar showing some lightening up regarding the activity here and around Harlan toward Hazard here. And also as you make way from Jackson toward West Liberty, you head over toward Whitley and McCreary counties here. We're picking up the intensity your way and more moisture here will continue to come up from Tennessee back toward Alabama and Georgia and this will continue to fill in here over the next hour or two and that means the rain continues this morning easing up his showers as we head through the afternoon and the forecast high today in hazard getting up to 58 degrees more about the first alert seven day forecast that's all coming up in just a few moments Olivia Thanks, Tim, and thank you for joining us. The time is now 641, still to come on Mountain News this morning. After days of talks, no movement on a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas as a major religious milestone draws closer.